Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well, and thank you for watching this clip on inflection points. Inflection points are a pretty neat concept in that when we have a curve, this is a random curve here, the max and min, or extreme value, happens at when derivative y prime is equal to zero. Equal to zero. The inflection point, however, is the second derivative equal to zero. That's when a curve goes from concave down to concave up, or a cup that can't hold any water to a cup that does hold the, the water. Wow, my, it's Friday, my tongue is tied. Okay, the point where it goes concave down to concave up, or vice versa, is the inflection point. So for our case here, we are looking for y double prime equal to zero. So let's get started. y prime is equal to five x to the fourth plus four k x to the cube. y double prime equal to 20 x third plus 12 k x squared. Okay, now setting this thing equal to zero, we're gonna solve for x. And since we're given x equal to six, and we can using the that information to figure out what a k is, because we're ser searching for k here. Our variable here is not x, but rather it's k. So 0 is equal to 20x cubed plus 12k times x squared. Now at this point, you can evaluate x equal to 6 and plug in there. You can find that k is equal to minus 10. Now I am a big proponent of doing as little work as you can possibly manage. So let's see if we can do it around without uh, stressing ourselves out solving that big 6 to the cube thing. All right, so pulling out x squared over here, I have 20x plus 12x, uh, not x, 12 times k, uh, setting this equal to 0. So then I have either this part equal to 0 or this part equal to 0. So if 20x plus 12k equal to 0, and this happens when x equal to 6, I have 20 times 6 plus 12k equal to 0, so therefore k has to equal to minus 10. That's, this is 120 over here, 12 times 10 is 120, so uh, k equal to minus 10, and then that's our final answer. Okay, math break. All right, back to math. Um, inflection point, like I said, again, it's uh, concave up, concave down, when the curve changes concavities here. Uh, when you find the extreme value, that's when the first derivative equal to zero. Okay, hope this is clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun. At least trying to. Please comment or thumb up if the video has been helpful. Until next time, have a confident day.